Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Gavin Weber from Little Green Workshops, and today we're going to be looking at how we use the soap cutting box to cut melt and pour or cold process soap bars. So in today's demonstration, I'm using the soap cutting box, as I mentioned. Uh, it is designed and manufactured uh, here in Melton West. Uh, I designed it, I started making them, but we got so many orders that I actually outsourced to a local artisan producer. So great looking soap box. It's got two cutting sizes, two centimeters and three centimeters, uh, and a little stop at the front. So you can check out the product. We'll put the link in the description of the video down below. Also, the soap bars that we are cutting uh, were made using the 1.2 kilo mold. Uh, this is a silicon line mold, so you get an even shape every time. Uh, if you get saggy sides, like you can see on this one here a little bit, just use a bulldog clip and just clip them up to the sides and you'll get a consistent rectangle shape bar. Uh, make sure they're filled to the top and then you don't have any uh, real issues uh, with the soap. Uh, but you'll see me cutting two uh, bars of soap or two logs of soap here uh, into about three centimeter bars. Anyway, let me uh, show you how we use the soap cutting box uh, with, uh, I think I'm using the wavy cutter. So I've got some soap bars made with the 1.2 kilogram wooden mold uh, that I showed you just before and I put them into the soap cutting box. And we're gonna make fairly chunky bars. So I'm lining them up with the uh, last slot there, but uh, this bit's a bit tricky. So I've just got to trim off the end and I'm using the wavy cutter there. And the good thing about these ends is that you can use them as embeds, like you can shave them or what have you and put them into other melt and pour or cold process soap. Now this is cold process soap. I've moved it along about three centimeters and using the soap cutter again, I get a nice perfect straight cut. So lift it out, take it out, and I'm putting it onto, you can see the nice even cut there, just putting it onto a chopping board. Uh, later on, I'll transfer that onto grease proof paper and put it on our drying rack where we cure all of our cold process soap. So I've just moved the block along again, or the, the log, and, oh, bit of a slips, <laughs> that's okay, good recovery, Gav, uh, and pop that on the chopping board. So just to speed things up a little bit, we're just gonna cut through the rest of the, of the soap log. And as you can see, exactly the same size, nice, even, straight cuts, no thick ends, no skinny ends, just one solid bar, which is absolutely fantastic. Now you can make a skinnier bar if you want. You just use the stopper at the front and the two centimeter slot at the front. So you can see there I've got nine nice looking bars of soap there out of a 1.2 kilo mold. So popping the next one in, we'll do the same thing. Just lining that up, just chopping the end off there. And cutting the rest of the bars. Now you don't need to use the front stop if you don't want to. You can see that I'm not doing that. I'm just cutting them to the size that I want. But I've marked a line on the box just shy of about three centimeters. So it's about 2.7 centimeters is the width of each bar. That's kind of what we prefer to sell in the shop. So there was a little bit of a lip there, so I just cleaned that up. And the last couple of bars, easy to cut, nice firm pressure using the wavy soap cutter. And just the last one there. A bit 
tricky for a lefty, but I'm holding the bar with my left hand and just pushing down with a wavy cutter with my right hand. And that's the final bar. So I've got nine even size bars out of that one as well. You've got about 10 or 11 bars of soap if you use the smaller setting on the soap cutting box. Anyway, back to Gavin. So just make sure when you're cutting your soap, you put it on some greaseproof paper and then put it on your drying rack to dry the bars out over the four weeks of curing if you're using cold process soap. Like I said, this soap cutting box is great for uh, making logs with uh, cold process soap and melt and pour soap. Uh, so you won't have any issues with either. Uh, I'll also put the link to the 1.2 kilogram uh, silicon wooden mold down below in the description if you wanted to check that out. Anyway, thank you for watching ladies and gentlemen and we will see you in the next video tutorial.